Welcome to Spotlight on Berkeley Heights, the pulse of the community. I'm Dr. Donald DeFabio. Well, guess what? It's here. The circus, it's here, it's in town, because the Berkeley Heights Ed Foundation brought it to, me, to town. It's a great community event. So we're here, we're enjoying the circus, and guess what? We have some behind the scenes interviews for you with members of the circus, the performers. You're gonna hear from the crowd. You're gonna hear from the Ed Foundation. You're gonna find out why it's so exciting to have the circus in town. So hang on to your hats. Grab those rubber noses and let's go to the circus. Please welcome the cast of the Kelly Miller Circus! The circus has got lots of performers that some of them wear very different hats and many hats like Nicholas. Nicholas has got one hat on, but he wears two hats tonight. Nicholas, tell us a little bit about what we can expect in the show. Uh, so I'll start with myself. We'll work out from there. Um, I am the ringmaster of this show, uh -huh, which means I get to announce the acts. Uh, I'll actually be sharing that with one of the clowns because I'm also one of the clowns. Right. So I'll be doing some comedy magic, a uh, little bit of juggling. Every night's a little bit different. I like to see where the audience is at, but I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve, literally and figuratively, uh, but no peeking. Okay. Um, and yeah, so I will be. I will have the pleasure of introducing the jugglers, the aerialists, the acrobats. Uh, we have a really cool skipping rope act. We have some great Mongolian artists who've joined us for this tour. Oh, neat. Um, yeah. So that sounds like a very traditional type of circus. Would that be an accurate description of the Kelly Miller Circus? Absolutely. So we are a traditional show, which basically means, uh, in circus parlance, often that means a ringmaster act. So you have uh, someone coming out and saying, ladies, gentlemen, and more, we've got jugglers. And then you see jugglers. And then the next act gets introduced, and so on and so forth. Uh, in other formats, there might be more of a, a through line, like it might be all based around Alice in Wonderland. There might be uh, those kind of characters mm -hmm. coming into play. Mm -hmm. Here, we are all about the families and performers just shining with their the skills that they love and presenting it in as classic a format as we can. Very cool, and there's lots of interaction uh, in this circus with the audience, isn't there? That's right. Uh, we try to get people as involved if, as possible, whether that's simply you know cheering for the acts they love or even coming into the ring, trying their hand at some circus skills, a uh, bit of magic. Again, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, we love sharing our passion for circus and sparking that fire in our audiences of all ages. Well, let's see some of that circus. Thanks, Nicholas. We'll see you in a little bit. You bet. See you there. Pull out a cigar. Hey, wait, no, you just, you just won. Just, no, you just get one. What are you doing? No, why did you get four? <laughs> Man. Well, the circus is here because the Berkeley Heights Ed Foundation brought it here. Yeah. Uh, Carla McGlynn, you're with the Berkeley Heights Ed Foundation. Why the circus? Well, we thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to bring families together at a family fun event. And this is absolutely, I mean, just look at the wonderful crowd that's come in. Just the number of um, uh, events that we've had over the last month here in Berkeley Heights. That's this great. is a great way to cap off the end of the month with a family fun event. And we're so proud that the Ed Foundation can bring it to us. Well, I think you did a, a great job in picking a, a, an event like this. And the Ed Foundation, we know it's about helping out our school system, but tell us a little bit more about 
where the money goes and how it gets used and how it gets back into the community. Absolutely. So the Ed Foundation is an organization that raises money for the benefit of our students in all six of our district schools. So the Ed Foundation raises this money and this year we've raised over $30,000 from our events um, as well as a generous donations from corporate sponsors as well as individual sponsors. But we take the money that we have raised to fund grants and programs to um, accelerate, to accentuate, to provide all of the additional benefits um, to our students to help them grow and learn and just flourish in our school system. So fill in the gaps and add enrichment. And enrichment, exactly. So we provide technology, we provide enriched programs, and some of our most popular programs are stemming around a technology, um, but also STEM um, and kindness, which is something that we're really, really proud of to be supporting of, and all the schools are really incorporating kindness into their programs. Great job, wonderful vision. Berkeley Heights Ed Foundation, helping the community, helping our children. Good job, Carla. Thank Keep it up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready? We're always ready. We're born ready. You kidding me? Born to it. That's right. Born to it. Born to it. Born to it. We got cozy. We got easy. We got clowns. Hey, you guys thought I was a clown? These guys are clowns. So, Cozy, what's it like being a clown? Well, it's the best thing in the world. I get to travel around all over the United States and Canada, and I get to do what I like to do. Ooh, and what about you, easy boy? It's funny you should ask me that, Dr. Disaster, I'll tell you. I've been clowning since well before the day you were born. Actually, not really. He looks really old, if you ask me. No, we're... It's only the beard. It's only the beard. Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, it's been a little it. dusty, though. He is. Look at that. She keeps it clean, let me tell you. Well, I'll tell you something about Cozy. When it comes to clowning, she's ready for anything. Cozy, oh, what yes. you got in your big, 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 big yellow bag there? Well, I did bring my iPhone, because, you know... A clown wouldn't leave home without their iPhone. Oh, baby. You know, you got to have one of these. There you go. We'll take pictures later. Okay? She takes selfies with multiple people. We call them ussies. Yeah, <laughs> it comes with Bluetooth. It's Bluetooth capable. <laughs> Come on, what's every clown supposed to have in her bag? What would you find in any clown's bag? A, a rubber, rubber chicken, chicken oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, right. you want to see my chicken gag? That's it. <laughs> You know where you get a rubber egg? From a rubber chicken. Hang on a second. I'll warm it up for you. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> That's why they're the clowns and I'm the doc. Hey, cozy, easy. We're looking forward to seeing your work the crowd. Let's see it happen. We're You're excited. Hey, it hurts when I go like this. Don't do that. He is a doctor. The Girl Scouts are here at the circus. It's their end of the year activity. Elisa Probst, the Regional Service Unit Manager, is that Berkeley your title? Heights, Berkeley Heights Service Unit Manager. So why are the Girl Scouts here? Well, I tried to do something when I became the Service Unit Manager to bring all of the Scouts together because we go from six years old in kindergarten all the way up to 18 in high school. So, and the troops kind of function individually, so I wanted to make a more unified service unit so the girls could interact together with younger kids and older kids. That's great. Alisa, why scouting? Why should, you know, women uh, get involved or girls get involved with scouting? Girl Scouts is a great organization. It teaches girls a lot of skills that they may not normally get otherwise. Um, I know we're known for our Girl Scout cookie sale, but that actually is a big skill building between they have to manage the money, collecting the money, speaking to adults, asking for something. It's a lot of valuable skills that they learn just from that simple task of selling cookies. Um, but we do a lot of other things. We have an encampment every year that we go to and do a lot of outdoor activities. And then every troop does a various other activities as well throughout the year from visiting police stations to collecting for animal shelters. You know, Whatever. it gives them a sense of purpose in the community and, and that they can make a difference and value in the community. That's great. So, scouting, circus, Elisa Probst, thank you very much thank for your you. time. Yes, we appreciate thanks. it. What's the circus if the Girl Scouts out here? Yay! 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 Yay. 
Hey, you're not a Girl Scout. Yay. Okay, well, that works. Nicholas, thanks for joining us, but you know, we're not selling cookies. We're eating funnel cake. Yay. So what's the best part about the show so far? Um, everything. Everything. What about, what's your favorite part of the show? I liked him. Nicholas, all right. How about you? What did you like? I like the acrobatics and stuff. And, and what, did, what did you like? Everything. Everything. What about the... Uh, oh, the clowns. Oh, the clowns. There we go. All right. Those Girl Scouts, they're sharp. They're sharp. All right. Hey, everybody's having a good time? Yes. And what do you think for Kelly Miller's Circus? Thumbs up? All right. All right. Woo! Thanks for coming to town. Antonia. Did you like the clown? Yeah. Was the clown funny? Yeah. So Isabella, we're at the circus. You think we're going to see some what? Juggling. Juggling. Cool. <laughs> Thank you.